All right, I'm back. See, this is what happens when I take my iPad off my screen. Somehow, and I've even cut my nails down. I'm so sorry, guys. We're here. Hopefully, it connected to the same link that I had on YouTube already. So, I don't know what I can do to change that when I take that off. Maybe I just won't do an early bird glitter spinner. I don't know. But I like to show you guys that I'm actually spinning it and you guys are winning it. So if that part doesn't carry over, we had a winner for the early bird glitter spinner and it was Angie. And I will get these sent out to you hopefully tomorrow, all right? Yes! All right, so we are making video number four from the make and takes from my glitter retreat, which was back in the early of October, early month of October. And we are on week four. Four. We got one more week with two more cards. And then remember, next week during our live, I'm going to give all 10 cards away. So whoever's name's drawn, I don't quite know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to give all 10 cards away. So this is the really cute ladybug punch card that we're going to make today. And then this is a technique card using the autumn leaves. Isn't that beautiful? So the technique is on this piece right here. So pretty. So these were cards number three and number nine that we're making today. Let me turn my comments on. I'm almost afraid to touch anything. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you are frozen, Dawn. Nicole, I think I got booted out. Are you on here now, Nicole? Let me see if any comments come on. <laughs> okay, everybody's saying I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so Patricia says, I'm here too. All right, thank you guys. Don't give up on me. <laughs> All right, so I'm back here. Hopefully you're back on here with me. I'm just going to scroll through the comments really quick. We're back. Love the fall leaf card. Thank you, Rena. You got to make it at the retreat. How exciting. All right, um... How do I get into your giveaway? All right, so into the, the glitter giveaway, we do a glitter spinner at the beginning of the hour. And all you have to do is just leave a comment, just like you did right there. And then your comment gets you entered into the glitter spinner, okay? And then we're going to do another glitter spinner at the end of the hour. So it's really super easy. There's nothing you got to do, like buy or, you know, send in or anything. So, yep, I'm back. <laughs> Hi, Norelda. All right, everybody's rolling back in. Sorry, guys. I hit it with my nail, and I cut all my nails down and because they were really getting long. But um, I hit something on my iPad, and it took me right off. So I'm going to have to try to do something different. But you guys know, I mean, we've been doing, excuse me, we've been doing this for a long time now. So you guys know I'm not cheating when I'm spinning, right? So, um, <laughs> oh no, Norelda said she tried to scroll up, but nothing. Yeah, it just totally booted me out and then I had to come back in. So all my links and everything are not in the description box until after the video. So I'll add them after, unless it's connected to my YouTube link already. All right. So we'll just see how it goes. We'll just try to finish off today. All right. So I mentioned in the early bird chat. Hopefully you guys are rolling in. I'm going to offer you guys a class next or this Friday. It's going to be a very short, limited time. And it's my very first ever product-based class. So this means you're, you're going to get um, five projects. And then you're going to get products that are in the kit. So they're going to have designer paper, some foil paper, and maybe some ribbon or some embellishments. I don't quite know. I don't have it quite figured out yet, but I'm going to really shoot for Friday. So this is not um, where you purchase so much and then you get the kit for free. This is where you're buying the kit and then there will be an option for you to add on the bundle. So I will give you guys a heads up. The bundle that we're using, actually, oh, it's over there. Um, the bundle that we're going to be using in this class is the Merry and Bright bundle. It's the one with the Christmas lights. It's so cute. So I have really cute five projects lined up. I just got to make them and, you know, get them out, get them for uh, photographed. But if you want to add the bundle to the class, you can definitely do that. And there will be an option for that. 
but um, I'll have to figure everything out and give you guys all the prices. And once it's ready, I will send out a newsletter. So if you subscribe to my newsletter, you guys will be able to get that class for a very limited time. And I'm going to hopefully get that all ordered and everything in and sent out probably the last or the day after Thanksgiving. So you'll still have time to make them for Christmas. All right. All right, so stay tuned for that, and hopefully Friday. And I'll post some information on my website, too, on Friday. But I do have a video for Friday Fun Day, so there's going to be a lot of information on Friday if I get the kit done. <laughs> Cross your fingers. All right, so these are the two cards we're going to make today. Oh, hello, Australia. Andrea, welcome. All right, so yes, Dawn, come back on Friday on my website. You'll get all that, and then... Um, those that are subscribed to my newsletter, you can subscribe to my newsletter over on my website. This is my website, dawnstampingthoughts.net. Hopefully that's showing up. It does not show that it's showing up on my side. But go to my website and then you'll see a picture of me along the right-hand side. And then right underneath there, it should say subscribe to my newsletter. And then you can subscribe and then you'll be notified when the class is available to sign up. So it's going to be a short turnaround because of the holidays. So it's only going to be available for like less than a week. Okay. Yay, you're back, Diana. <laughs> Sorry, I got booted out. Yes, and then Friday is Friday Fun Day. It's going to be a totally different Friday fun video. I will give you a hint. It's a project I made for my presenters at the retreat. And it's like a, it's just a really cute little gift that I put together and put some goodies inside of it. And then I also made some gift tags for the bingo prizes. So you'll see how I made those. Okay. So um, that will be all on Friday at noon on YouTube. And then you can go to my website too on Friday after 12 noon Eastern. Okay. All right, so we're going to make the ladybug card first because that's going to be easier. I'm going to, I don't have to do any embossing or anything. So we're going to save that card for the second card. So this first card is a punch art card. Believe it or not, this flower is made with the ladybug punch and I love it. So again, the PDF or the printable, I should say the printable is available it's a 10 page printable that gives you all the measurements and the supplies and then you just come back to the video and you can make all these cards so the printable is available over on my website i had the link listed down below you can check that out over on my website today and then also i also have the 3d projects that i made everybody at the the glitter retreat where they got a pillow gift or the table gift and I made them all with the 3D projects. So if you want them, now that one has pre-recorded videos. So everything is all ready to go. All you do is once you purchase that class, then you'll be directed to my website and it's, and it's um, private. So once you purchase it, then it should be in your downloads. And then you'll be able to access all six videos and then all the pictures and the printables. Everything is over there for you, ready to access. And you can watch the videos whenever you want. So each video is on each of the projects that I did for the retreat. So that is all listed over on my website too. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and make this card. I'm going to get mine on my supplies here. So now this is the stamp set. Hello, Ladybug. We're going to use this polka dotted part for the wings of the butterfly, or sorry, of the ladybug. And then this cute little hello. And then this is the punch, the ladybug punch. Probably looks better like this. Okay. So then we're going to use our pieces here. I already got mine all cut out. And if you bought the packet to go, your pieces are also already cut. And I think you will have to cut your your flower stuff, I think, if I remember right. All right, so we got our basic white, and this is the thick, and this is cut at five and a half by eight and one eighth, and you're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So it's gonna leave you a little edge right here at the bottom. And then this piece of designer paper it has the cute daisies. This is from the Delightfully Electric designer paper in the annual catalog. And this is cut at two and a quarter 
Yep, two and a quarter by five and a half. And then you're going to punch out a piece of basic black with the ladybug punch and then the wings of the ladybug. And then these are the leaves of the flowers, which is also the ladybug, right? And then you're going to need circles. So I cut out the daisy, or sorry, the center of the daisy flower with the daffodil. And this is punched out with the three quarter, I'm sorry, three fourths circle punch. It's not three quarters. Well, it could be three quarters, but it sounds like I'm saying three and a quarter, but it's three fourths. And then this circle punch with the basic white is cut out with the one inch circle punch. So we're going to have to build our daisy on this piece. All right. I'm going to show you an easy way to build that. So let me get some basic white and I'm going to punch out my leaves. You're going to need to punch out. How many did I say? Four. You're going to cut out four of the six. Wait now, let me see this. I wrote this on my update here. Um, Scrap piece, a uh, six flower petal. So you're gonna cut out four of the six will make the petals. Okay, so we're gonna cut out, we're gonna cut out, I think it's four, right? So we're just gonna cut out four of the, I wanna say it was more than that, but we'll see here. I'm gonna cut out four of the petals or the, the wings with the basic white. It might be, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so four. I think it's four. Yeah, four. Duh. All right, and we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut these petals in half. So we're going to have individual petals. Okay. You know what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that's right. Four. Like I said, I have designed these projects a long time ago, so it was like trying to remember. All right, then we're going to take our bone folder and we're going to curl the petals. So we're just also breaking down the fiber. So it doesn't take very long. You can see that I just curled that and then curl, curl them all the same way. So we're going to curl them up. I'm just dragging the bone folder across the petal with the right edge because when you cut them in half, you get another edge that looks like that. That doesn't look very good. You want the cute finished edge on the outside of your petal. Okay? So on my printable, I give you guys like Dawn's tips. <laughs> and hopefully that helped you guys. I mean, I don't think anybody actually um had any problems making the cards at the retreat i mean but i was there too to help you guys and then um if you had more people at the table you guys could all chip in and make it together you know all right so now this is how we're going to do the flower so actually i think i'm going to use liquid glue for this all right so we're going to take that one inch circle let me actually use this gray mat because we're going to use this for the next card but then you guys can see what I'm doing all right so take your one inch circle and we're going to take four petals I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and we're going to put one at the north side and then you're going to put one on each of the directionals so north south east and west right North, south, east, and west. And then you're just going to go back in and fill in. I just got glue on that. That's really great. All right. Let me get my, do I have my craft silicone sheet? No. Nope. All right. So, but you guys got the idea. So north, south, east, and west. And then you're going to take the remaining four and just overlap the space between them so you're building your petal right your little daisy so very cute 
And believe it, I mean, can you believe it? It's like the ladybug punch. I'm like so impressed. <laughs> very clever it's like many ways to use the ladybug punch and then there's your little daisy right oh that one's sticking to my finger okay and then you can take your center part which should have been in your kit and then I think I popped that up on a dimensional you know put that in the center to cover all that up so put a dimensional on the back of the daffodil and just put that right there. Oh, mine's kind of smaller. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did it the other way. Maybe I, what did I do? One, two. I feel like my flower's a little bit smaller. What else did I do? Am I missing another daisy? I have an extra one, don't I? Or no? Maybe not. This one looks like it's so much bigger. Maybe you could go bigger. And not go so much like inside of the circle. Like just pull it out. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to actually line it up. Here. Let me see. Do I have extra pieces for that? Let me see. So I can do another one to show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I don't have another circle punch. Okay, so what I was saying is like when you put them on the circle, you don't have to meet them up in the center. So bring it out a little bit and then they'll overlap and then they'll be bigger. Okay, so do that. Sorry. All right, and then we're going to stamp our little polka dots on the leaves. Let me get my mat. There is no mistakes in stamping, right? Right. So we're just going to stamp our little polka dots in the stamp onto the leaves of the ladybug. So cute. Oh, and then we got to stamp the hello. So I got a piece of scrap. This was the scrap that was in the box for the hello. So let's go ahead and stamp that. And then you could cut that down with your scissors because it's a little bit too big, but you can cut that down. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to flag the end of the hello just a little bit or at the beginning of the, the H over here. Just going to pen at that end a little bit. And then you want to leave a little bit on the end so you can tuck it underneath the daisy a little bit. Okay. So it should look like that. Okay. Alrighty. That's the card. Let's put it together now. All right. Let me still use my liquid glue. We're going to put our designer paper onto the thick basic white. I just left a little edge on the bottom. When I made this card first, I was thinking of stamping the hello here. Did anybody stamp it that way when you made the card? Because really, that's what I was really thinking of stamping it down here. But I ended up making the banner. All right, so we're going to put our flower. Let's put our flower. And then we got our leaves here too. So I'm going to put my leaves on with the liquid glue. Put our leaf over here. Isn't it cute? You could actually punch more of the white too if you wanted to make your flower bigger. But if you do it like the north, south, east, and west, it just makes it more balanced, I guess, for the flower part. I'm going to put another dimensional behind the leaves just to make sure they stay there okay so put my flower there and then we're going to build our ladybug put our le or leaves put our wings on the ladybug you could also curl the ladybug wings if you wanted she cute put dimensionals on her
I was going to pull up some information about ladybugs today, but I ran out of time. I do like ladybugs, but I, I've i seen some ladybugs that bite. Ooh. And that hurts when they bite. So I just put the ladybug down at the bottom, like on the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to stick this little hello. Let me get my mini dimensionals. Where's my minis? Right there. The mini dimensional. Remember, I said we're going to tuck this underneath the flower a little bit just so that it sticks out. There's your first card. Well, card number three is the ladybug card. The punch art. Isn't it cute? And how it plays in with the designer paper too. The daisies. I love it. And then you could also. I had the Wink Estella in the box. So they could actually color in the center of the flower if they wanted. Let me see here. This one might be out. Might not be much in there. Let me see if I can just color that in a little bit. Just to give a little bit of sparkle to the center of the flower. So pretty. So there's your card. So cute. So it's just a sweet little hello card. Thinking of you. Um, you know, just a simple cute card. Using the ladybug. Ladybug was the focus of this card. The ladybug punch. Remember, and this is this and the stamp set are in the annual catalog. Okay? And I don't think they're available in a bundle anymore, but you can still get them. So that's the most important part, right? All right, so we're going to put this one on our board for the 10 cards that we're going to give away next week. All right, I'm just cleaning up my mess here. I got my bucket over here too, so everybody, everything, not everybody, but everything. I also had this diagram, if you guys want to see this. I had a diagram of all the steps. So what I did is I took clear envelopes and I said like here, um... I guess I should have read my own directions, but you're going to start with your north, south, east, and west. Separate the petals, and then you're going to build your second second layer with putting them in the center, just like what we did. And then here's your finished flower. So this was in the bucket, too, for them to follow along, too, if they got a little confused. All right, let me just clean up my mess. We'll move on to the next card because we're going to have to do some embossing on this card. So I want to make sure I have all my stuff out of the way. Not much, right? I know. I love Wink Estella too. <laughs> Anything with Wink Estella added to it makes it even better. Don't you think? Let me put this in a... That's the larger one. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to put this in a clear envelope. I have them hanging like on my um, board back here. You guys know I got four of those display boards or display stands. So I have all the 10 cards sitting right in front of me on my board. So next week they'll all come down and I'll give them out. Okay. All right. So card number nine. Let me switch my printable. Card number nine. Like I said, this would be a really sweet. Thanksgiving Day card, if you send out Thanksgiving Day cards. I normally don't send out Thanksgiving Day cards, but I do like thank you cards. I do like grateful cards. So this would definitely fit that bill too. All right, now this is a technique card. Now this one I seen from my friend Susie. She gave it to me as a swap at Las Vegas at Backstage. And as soon as she gave it to me, I said, oh my gosh, this is going to be one of my cards. I need two more cards. So I told her I was going to use her card for my um, retreat. And she just laughed. <laughs> right? All right. So where is my card pieces? Where's my card at? Oh, here it is. All right. Let me get all my pieces out. All right. So we're going to be using the pecan pie cardstock just getting all my stuff out of here for the card just give me one second another piece the pecan pie stampin blends we're going to use 
and the autumn autumn leaf oh this is like stuck together oh my gosh oh this is like stuck oh my gosh why is it doing that <laughs> oh my gosh I seriously cannot get this off, you guys. Oh my gosh. I need to get it off. The stamp or the black. It's not coming off. Hold on. Let me see if I can twist it. Oh! Let me take it off the... What in the world? Why is it like that? Does anybody have an idea how I can undo this? Let me get my get pick tool. Maybe I can pry it off. This is so weird. It is not coming off, you guys. <laughs> oh, and I need, oh, there it goes. Oh. That was so weird. All right. Let's not do that again. All right. I think I got everything out. Now, this one we're using the Pecan Pie Classic Ink along with the Crumb Cake. And the technique is requiring some basic white or whisper white. Remember that color, whisper white. Whisper white craft ink. Now, this ink pad comes blank now so i don't even think it looks like this this is my older craft ink pad so and it also comes with the ink refill so when you purchase this in the annual catalog your ink pad will be blank like those little stampin spots so you'll take your ink refill of the craft ink and what i found is if you like roll it between your hands just to warm it up because it's kind of a thicker ink because it does stay wet a little bit longer so then you're just going to open up the ink pad. Like I said, this is an older ink pad. And then squirt your re-inker into the ink pad. And then what I do is I take a, like a plastic spoon. And once I put a few drops in my ink pad, then I take my spoon and I kind of like mush it around. I do this with all my ink pads, actually. It's not just the craft ink. So let me go ahead and do this a little bit so I can show you. So you can see how thick it is. It's not even coming out like in um, dots. Here, let me show you up close. But you, when you purchase it, it does come with the ink refill. So you see how that is on there? And then just take your plastic spoon or whatever you want to use. You can even use your bone folder if you want. And just mush it into your sponged ink pad. Okay? Because you're going to use this white um, ink for the technique. It's called uh, direct to paper. So we're going to do that the very last step. Okay? All right. So you will need the white. And white ink pad is really nice for Christmas time anyway. So hopefully you guys already got it. But the white is nice for... Um, you know, like making snow drifts or snowflakes. It's really nice. And for Halloween, it's nice to make, you know, like a spooky scene or whatever. All right, let me give you all the measurements of this card. We're going to be using the pecan pie. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to score this together. Then a piece of crumb cake and the very vanilla. And these are both cut at four by five and a quarter. This is going to be the piece for the front of the card, and that's going to go on the inside, the very vanilla. And then the front piece for your focal area, your very vanilla is cut at two and three quarter by three and a half. And then the pecan pie is cut at three by three and three quarter. That's going to be layered onto the front. And then your layer here for the pecan pie is cut at one by three. Man, my hand hurts from peeling those stamps apart. That was so weird. Ooh, the pecan pie is cut at one inch by three and three quarter. And then this piece right here is going to be for the greeting that we're going to stamp, which is the, with the grateful heart. And then this piece of the crumb cake is three fourths by two and three fourths. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and stamp first. Let me actually score this piece first. I'll score that. This is going to be like a Z fold card. Uh, I don't think I need this open. All right, so we're going to score on the eight and a half inch side across the top. And this is our paper trimmer. Um, I had somebody ask me about how I keep both the, the trimming, the cutting blade and the scoring blade on the trimmer. And they both, well, the trimmer is bigger than 12 by 12. Yeah, so the the blades and the scoring tool kind of get tucked up on the ends right here. So I just use them both at the same time. But you're only using one or the other. So whatever one you're using, just slide the other one at the other end. So you don't have to keep taking them in and out. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is the, let me make sure. Five and a half by eight and a half. Yep, this is the pecan pie. And we're going to score this at two and an eighth. Scoring, not cutting. Two and an eighth and four and a quarter. I almost went for the cutting blade. Don't want to do that. All right, so that's the Z fold part of your fun fold part of this card. So we're just going to fold it in half. And then we're going to take the front part and fold it back so it's going to look like this okay because you can see kind of how the z part comes into play how does that come out like this see how it kind of looks like a z so that's your z fold part of the card but all the fun part the technique stuff is all on the front layer here so crumb cake we're going to first stamp our leaf in the Crumb Cake Classic Ink. Now, when I first did this card, I re-inked my Crumb Cake. So, I highly advise you, if you're using the Crumb Cake and your ink pad is kind of juicy or it's new, stamp and check it out to see if it's really super dark. Because mine was really dark. And I think I said, yeah, I said it even on Dawn's tips here. Look at on my tip when I put it on the printable. It says first stamp leaves on to crumb cake cardstock, but ink stamp and then stamp off lightly on a small um, and tap on your grid paper because you don't want this piece to be too dark. You just want it to be like, you know, you can see it, but yet not like so saturated. So I'm just going to stamp off and then we're going to stamp on to the crumb cake. But if your ink pad's not inked up very much, see how mine's really light there? I'm going to do the same thing for this bottom section down here. I'm going to stamp off. Oh, hold on. This is the solid leaf from this stamp set here. Autumn leaves. And I was telling everybody in the early bird chat, the All About Autumn designer paper has officially sold out. I'm so sad. Oh, man. That was very, very popular designer paper. And then I said, I hope I have enough to make my thank you notes this month because that's my designer paper that I'm using for my November thank you notes. All right, so you're stamping off. Unless you like it darker, that's totally up to you. Oh, that one's a little bit too light. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it full color. Let's see what that looks like. It might be fine now because I re... Oh, that's kind of dark. Well, I got to do the other one now, right? I'm going to flip... Oh, I can't flip it over because it's the card on the back too. <laughs> I'm stuck with this. It's all good. We're going to make the best of it. All right, so stamp your leaves. If you want to stamp off, stamp off. If you don't, don't. And then we're going to take our Pecan Pie Classic Ink. I'm going to stamp the inside of the leaf with this color. And it's a photopolymer stamp set, so it should line up really nice. Look at how pretty that is. Do the same thing on this one down here. Okay, and then while we're at it, we'll might as well go ahead and stamp our leaf on the front. Let me grab that leaf again with the crumb cake. This is going to be the front layer, so we're just going to stamp one leaf. Now this one I am going to stamp full ink. 
right in the center, kind of kitty corner. So this is a larger stamp. I should be using my mat. Hold on, let me see if I can put this over here. Let me see if it grabs it. Yep, okay, good. That's really what I should have been doing all along because it is a photopolymer stamp set. Look how much better that is. Okay, then we're gonna stamp the inside of our leaf, same way, with the pecan pie. So pretty. All right, now, let me show you how we did the, the splatter. That is gonna be using the Stampin' Blends, and I used the crumb cake, so, or not the crumb cake, but the pecan pie. So if you have the light or the dark, it's totally up to you, which whatever one you want to use. I'm going to use the dark, and you're going to use the brush end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all this other stuff out of the way so I don't make a mess. But um, you can take your bone folder. Let me take my bone folder. You can take a Wink of Stella. All you're going to do is you're going to tap. Oh, that's my bullet tip. I want my brush tip. So you're gonna take a hard surface, which your Wink of Stella or your bone folder, and you're just going to tap your blends onto this hard surface, and it's gonna leave a little splatter onto the card. Can you see that a little bit that I did? See it? So of course you're gonna have lots of splatter, which I do like it. <laughs> if a little's good, you know what they say, a lot's better. Sometimes that is true. Sometimes it's not. All right, so you can see my splatter. Very cute. All right, now we're going to go ahead and emboss our background piece that we stamped, this piece right here. We're going to em we're gonna emboss it with the stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. Let me take this off my um, picture and picture there so you guys can see what, exactly what I'm doing. We're done with the stamps for that, not the greeting yet. All right, let me grab my die cut machine. We're going to emboss. Going to need the full size because we're using the, the big embossing folder. And this one is the, what is this? The Distressed Tile Embossing Folder. Can you see it? Isn't it pretty? It is kind of distressed. It's kind of like really nice with this kind of technique with the direct to paper because it gives you that distressed look. You know what I mean? So we're going to put this into the folder. And I think this is a 3D folder, isn't it? We're going to see. We're going to use our platform one and number four. If not, I got my other plates over there too. I forget. Yep, it's a 3D embossing folder, so you use one and four. Whoops, hold on. This fell. Okay. So here is my piece with the emboss. Now you can see better with the, the emboss. See how it's like um, skips around? I love that. It's like distressed already with the embossing. Love it. All right, so that's it for that. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna do this technique with your craft ink pad, the white. And this is usually abbreviated as DTP, which is direct to paper. So you're gonna take your ink pad and lock it open and then this is my ink pad here. So we're gonna take our cardstock and we're just gonna, I know this is kind of scary. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, don't do it. <laughs> now, depending on how much you wanna put, I mean, you could really just drag it right across the whole front, but I just want a little bit. So just, you know, you can always add more later, but you can't really take it off. So just start light with the light hand, just drag across and see how that embossed part of the card is grabbing the ink pad. So then you can just go around and just kind of drag your ink pad. See how that's grabbing it? Isn't it pretty? Oh, love it. So just go around dragging your ink pad, the direct to paper. 
I'd rather do a little bit and then go back and do more if you want. It's totally up to you. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Look how pretty that is. It gives it more of a distressed look. Now, I've done this in years past with like the crumb cake and early espresso. And there's techniques that if you do it, like with, uh, well, I think it was like with um, soft suede too, where you can make it look like suede if you drag it. You know what I mean? I got a low battery on my iPad. Let me unplug my phone. Hold on. I got to plug in my... I'm not quite done yet, so hold on. I gotta unplug my microphone. Hold on. Be a little. All right, there we go. Is that better? I don't want this in my way here. All right, is that good? All right, I'll just talk louder. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Well, that's what we did with the white crafting. Now this will take a little bit to dry, but we're gonna finish the card, so it should be good. Once we get to that part to add the card on there. All right, so we're going to get our little tag here to stamp. Get my mat again. Get it here. We're going to stamp with the Grateful Heart. And we're going to use that Pecan Pie Classic Ink again. Okay, so this is the... Greeting we're going to use on this card. Remember, this is three fourths by two and three fourths. And you're definitely going to have enough. Just stamp it right in the middle. And with it being photopolymer, you can line it up perfectly. Okay. And then all I did on the edge was I just took my scissors and angle cut it. Let me get my scissors. I'll show you. So I angle cut it like this. And then I angle cut this one up, maybe like this, yeah, okay, it's like that. So there's the front greeting. <clears throat> and then for the inside, I don't think I did anything on the inside, but you know, you have your very vanilla for the greeting, or you can even stamp more leaves if you want to on the front. All right, so let's go ahead and add this piece to our front layer here. Okay, that's done. Then we're going to take our pecan pie piece over here. We're just going to lay this right in the center of the card. Did I put dimensionals on that? Nope. I think I'm going to use liquid glue though. Because this is raised up and this is kind of wet still a little bit. So I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. I'm just going to put it like right in the center over those leaves. But it's not going to be the whole width of the card, the four inches. Remember, this is your um, one inch by three and three fourths piece. Okay. And then we're going to take our greeting or our center piece. We're going to put that on dimensionals. Just looking for my dimensionals. And put one in each corner. And this is going to go over the front, for the front, right over the center of that strip. And then this is more dimensionals. So pretty. It's like really a lot of stuff in one card, you know, like a technique all in one. All right, and we're going to put this right at the very bottom. And then I took some of this ribbon here. This is the natural ribbon. This is, what is this actually called? Natural one-fourth wavy trim. And all I did was just tie a knot at the end. Just pull it. Nothing fancy. Just tie a knot. It's just going to add a little something, something at the end of your tag. And then cut that off. And then we're going to put a glue dot. A glue dot. A glue dot at the end over here. Actually, put two here. Where'd it go? There it is. 
So it's just a little, you know, a little something, something. <laughs> and just put that on to the card. Okay. And then this, oh yeah, we got to add our embellishments too, Snug. I added the Adhesive Back Solid Gems. Add a few of these around the leaf on the front. And the Pecan Pie. And I took one of each of the sizes. So one of the small, one of the medium, and one of the large. Just to add a little bit more pizzazz. Those should have been in your kit too with the three that you needed to complete your card for the packet to go. All right, now we're gonna put this onto the inside. I would stamp the greeting or if you just wanna sign it, but um, just know there's not gonna be anything on the inside that's gonna show on the front except for like the border of the vanilla. So you can utilize all this to write it in because this is just gonna be like a layer onto the front like that. Oh, it does cover it up. So see how it covers up the very vanilla? Isn't that beautiful? So then when it opens, I'm gonna put this on now, but when it opens, then you can reveal the message inside. Okay, so we're only gonna put adhesive on this back side or over here on this, but remember you're putting um, there's going to be a slight, well, the card is four and a quarter by five and a half, and then this piece is four by five and a quarter. So just leave enough space on your panel here because you will have a little bit of an edge. You know what I mean? I'm just putting it both on both sides here. You don't have to. All right, so see how that's gonna give you a little edge and then close up the card. And then I wanna make sure that that does cover up the very vanilla piece. Hold on, I gotta hold it up. I can't see the top of it. There we go. Oh, no, a little bit more up. I just want that very vanilla covered. That's good. Isn't that pretty? So then when it opens, it opens like, like this. Now you could probably even glue this down to this flap if you wanted, so then it opens up like this. So a couple ways you can do that. You know what I mean? So you can put adhesive back here and seal this down to the fun fold part, so it's not like a Z fold, it's just a uh, front of the card. And it opens up like this, or you can just leave it like this and it opens up like that. Beautiful. I love it. Thank you, Susie. I knew I loved your card when you gave it to me, so I'm so happy we got to make it. I love it. And then here's the one that my sample was for them in the kit or in the, the box, you know. So fun. Yes, it is very elegant. Thank you, Holly. Lots of texture on this one, Nicole said. Yes, it is. I love it. And that white ink really just grabs it just enough to make makes it look more distressed, I think. Don't you think? But the embossing folder is distressed. I mean, that's the name of it, right? And this is in the mini catalog. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure it is. It's back there with this stuff, I think. Let, yep, right here. Oh, that paper is gone. It's so sad. All right, so page 43 is the Distress Tile 3D Embossing Folder. It's $9.50, but yeah, it's in the suite with the All About Autumn. So that folder is right there. Love it. So, but it does give you that distress, jet, that distress look, but with the white ink grabbing it, it just makes it more emphasize or more accentuated I guess love it all right so there's your two cards for this week um cute daisy thank you did you guys like the splatter too I love the splatter idea <laughs> really add this card really does do a lot of techniques right I mean 
first of all, you're embossing. I mean, that's a technique by itself. I mean, just, just give some texture on the back and then you're, you know, doing the DTP technique, the direct to paper, and then you're doing splattering. Yeah. And then it's a fun fold, right? It's like three things in one almost, right? All right. What did Irene say? Oh, it would be beautiful sympathy card, Rena. Definitely. Yeah, because even with the greeting, with the grateful heart, you know, that is very beautiful sympathy card. Yep, I agree with you. All right, let me clean up my mess. I have some happy mail, you guys. You want to go over some happy mail? We're still early. It's not even an hour. So hopefully I can go through all of this, and then we'll do another glitter spinner. So I don't know if you guys seen my blog today, but I did get my pins. Um, these are the two cards that we made today. So let me show you those again. So in case you're coming in late, you won't want to miss these cards. They're really fun, simple, but yet, wow, right? All right, so those were the two cards. And then on my website, I got these yesterday from Stampin' Up. So you know that I think it was um, last week we had the performance like um achievements from Stampin' Up for the demonstrators that was Stampin' Up and um we got well I got my pins yesterday and I got this cute bag and it's feels like it's kind of velvety it's really cute and it's got the Stampin' Up logo on it very soft and you just pull this here it gathers and then it's got a cute tag on there from Shelly and Sarah and then this cute little card, very cute. So that was in the mail and I had no idea what it was. I was thinking, what in the world is that? So it was quite a surprise to get this in the mail. Usually when we attend an event like on stage or um, usually it's on stage is when we get awarded the pins and stuff. But this year the on stage event is at home and it's actually this weekend and I didn't get signed up in time. But anyway, that's beside the point. But um, yeah, everybody's starting to get their pins. So very nice. So I got those yesterday and then I got some happy mail here. I got my Halloween cards, you guys. Thank you so much for the Halloween cards. And I don't know who this was from. Was this from Julie? Julie Jones. Is this your card, Julie? Thank you. You know what? I love this stamp set. I remember like it was yesterday. This cute little dog and elephant that's like dressed up as a bat. Or a, or a Batman. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, like, does this mask make me look big or make me look invisible? <laughs> it's an elephant. All right. So cute. Thank you. I think that said it was from Julie. And then this card is from Rena, or not Rena, but Rebecca. She made me this card for Halloween. Isn't it cute? Using our card sketch. Rebecca is a glitter queen. So this was her card sketch submission that she did. And then she was thanking me for, what was it? Oh, just wishing me a happy Halloween. Thank you, Rebecca. And then this card is, thank you so much. It's a window. Oh my gosh, look at that cute fun fold. And then this one's from Kathy. It says, thank you for my happy mail. Hostess gift. Love it. So cute. Love the window, Kathy. Very nice. And then this card is from Diana. Yes, and it says she won the adhesive back glitter sequins and the blooming pearls. This is from Diana. She's a glitter queen. She sent me this pretty card. Gorgeous. And then last but not least, a beautiful thank you card from Kim. She actually attended my retreat and she's thanking me for that. And she's already paid her deposit for next year's. The, the girls that attended this year's retreat, they got to reserve their spot before it opens up to everybody. So she's just letting me know she had a great time. She paid her deposit and she's all set for next year. Thank you, Kim, for your beautiful card. I love it. Oh, all right, that was happy mail. Thank you, everyone. All right, and then what else did I want to do? I want to do another glitter spinner. What else did I want to do with you guys? Anything? Oh, yeah, show you some pictures. 
Let me show you what's been going on here at the Griffith's house. So you guys know I mentioned the barn doors last week, but I didn't really show you the picture really good. So hopefully my camera can show you these pictures good. Let me show you my husband. He was painting the doors. Hold on, where's the picture at? Maybe I didn't bring it over. What is that one? No. Okay, this cute kitty. This is one of Jesse's new cats. And this name, his name is Spooky. Remember me telling you guys last week on how I'm not allergic to these cats? But look how cute and fluffy this cat is. And he's got a brother that they named Salem. And he's all black with little white on his chest. He's so cute and fluffy too, just like Spooky. But let me tell you, these cats are lover boys. Let me tell you. All they want to do is snuggle up to you. They are so, so cute. And these are the only cats that I've ever been able to kiss on and love on without, like, breaking out in hives on my face. Because, you know, I love animals anyway. But this one, his name is Spooky. But isn't he just adorable? So beautiful. And I think he's six weeks in that picture. All right, hold on. Let me see if I got Richard's picture here of him painting. I don't think I brought it over. Uh, hold on. I don't think I brought it over, but here is the picture of my bathroom finished. Hopefully you guys can see it because see on my iPad, it's cutting it off. But the barn doors, there are two barn doors, so they open up. Like one side opens up and then that closes and then you can open up the other side. So, but they're totally enclosed for the closet. Isn't it beautiful? So, but I took a picture of Richard painting the doors because they're solid wood. And um, we were thinking of either staining them or painting them. But my bathroom is like a light lavender with white trim. So we decided to paint it white because it would look better with the silver hardware or the, um, what is it called? The, um, the nickel, I guess, the nickel finish of the, the hardware on the barn doors. But it's so, so beautiful. And the doors glide like butter. I mean, they're so awesome. He did such an amazing job. And then let me show you some pictures of Griffey now. So here's a um, picture of Griffey here with... Okay, so... We have our names. I mean, it's taken all this time now, but Richard is Grumps. <laughs> Richard is Grumps, and I'm Grams. So they're not, I mean, I don't, I don't know. They're not the names that we picked out. We wanted Griffey to pick out our names. So it's Grams and Grumps. <laughs> and who knows? It might change, but we absolutely love them the way they are. So we like the Grams and the Grant Grumps. And then, so this is Griffey with Rich sitting on the, the couch, and he's looking at his tattoos. And then here's some more pictures of Griffey. I showed you guys these pictures last week, but this is better on my computer, so you guys can see how cute he is. And then here's one of Jesse and Griff. Ah, oh, he's so cute. You just eat him up. He's so cute. And then this one, she's got him uh, like a tunnel that he just crawls through. I swear, it's between him and the cats that love this tunnel. They both, they all three love this tunnel. And yeah, you can tell he really, really likes the, the tunnel. So um, I think that's it for the pictures. And then there's one picture here. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Of the lights we're doing on our house. Did I bring it over? Maybe I didn't even bring it over. Richard is adding lights to the outside of our house. And is that it? No, that's not it. That is not it. Um, yeah, let me see if I can bring it over here. Hold on. Photo library. All right, there it is. All right, hold on. Let me bring it over. Okay. There it is. All right, so this is, now this is not done yet. This is a work in progress. So Richard has gotten these lights and you know, my husband's an electrician. So um, he's been wanting to do lights on our house since we moved in here. So this is just um, uh, a rough look 
at the lights that we're wanting to maybe put on the house, but they have to go underground and stuff. So we're thinking maybe it's going to be permanent next summer or springtime. But we have these three humongous pine trees on the side of our house. And that light, you can actually change the color of it. And that's like a bluish, purplish light. It is so, so beautiful. And then we're wanting to put more lights for the top of the house. But you can kind of get the idea of what we're trying to go for here. But the purple on the trees, I like that year round. I really, really love the purplish blue lights on the, the trees. It looks really, really good. So, but that's the latest on what my hubby's been doing. So, but he's been working so late. I was telling everybody in the early bird chat that with the time change, it's so dark. By the time he gets home, he gets home about 5.30, quarter to 6. And it's like pitch black out. And here it was, I think it was Monday, Monday, he was outside, he came home and he started cutting the grass and he finished cutting the grass and we have a pretty big size yard. And I'm like, how did you finish cutting the grass when it was like pitch dark out? Do you have headlights on your lawnmower? <laughs> I, seriously, because I was like, how are you even doing that? So, it, yeah. I don't know. He says, I don't know. I just had to get it done. And I'm like, I get it. I said, but man, it's so dark out now. So really when it's 530, when he gets home, it's really like 630, right? Because we fell back an hour. So, and then it's still so dark in the morning because we're up at 430 in the morning. So that's, I mean, I know it's like really 530, right? But still, it's still so dark out. But Oh, yes, purple is the best color. I agree, Joan. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. It always has been my favorite color. I do hate time change. Me too, Gretchen. I like the spring forward because that means we get more daylight in the springtime and it stays lighter later. Like there was times like this past summer, it would be like daylight at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. And I love it, but not so much now. And then, um, I think that was it, right? I know, I do too. Oh, thank you, Irene. The kitty is so cute and he's so lovable. Like, and then you just go like this, you go... And he comes right to you. Oh, I love it. And then he'll just sit on your lap. He'll crawl up on my neck. And he just snuggles up. Oh, my goodness. So, so cute. It was just funny the way she named him. Because the black one, I would think, would be spooky. But the black one is Salem. And then the tigerish colored one, you know, the... um. They're both fluffy, though. This one is named Spooky. <laughs> and they're so far from it. You know, they're adorable kitty cats. And they're actually brothers. She went to go get one cat, but, you know, they were brothers. And she was like, is that one already taken? Because they went to the Humane Society. And she said, yeah, the other one is taken. Somebody's coming to pick them up tomorrow. So then by the time, you know, because when you, when you go through the Humane Society, they neuter them or spade them. So they wanted um, Spooky, or was it Salem? I don't know which one they went. I think it was Salem they went for. And then the brother was still there when they went back the next day. And they said that the person that wanted them backed out. And then Jesse couldn't have the heart to split them up, so she took them both. I'm kind of glad she did because they played cute together. And, oh, my gosh, they're so adorable. For real. Just so, so cute. All right, guys. Do you guys have any questions? Let me check out the, the question box here. If I missed anybody you guys know, you guys can always email me here. Dawn at the glitter pit .com. Don't forget to check out my video on Friday. We're having a fun Friday, fun day, fr Friday, fun day, sorry, Friday, fun day video. And I was going to bring over one of the gifts that we're making, but it's over in my other room. So you guys will see that on Friday. And then also, hopefully I'll have this class lined up. It's my very first one I'm doing as a product-based class. So we'll see how that goes. 
One of the items is currently on back order, so I'm crossing my fingers. By the time we end up doing the end of the registration, it will be available. So I will keep you guys all posted this Friday. But it will only be open for about a week, eight, six to eight days, maybe. So if you are definitely wanting it, sign up for it because I'm going to be placing the order to get it so I can package everything up and get them out to you guys. And remember, this is not a, a purchase and get the kit for free. This is the kit and it's got product in the kit. So you'll get the designer paper, you'll get the foil paper, you'll get some embellishments and stuff. So you'll probably get at least close to $20 worth of product in your kit, okay, of your product-based class. And then enough stuff to make your five projects. And the cards are really cute. I'm thinking I'm going to put in a box in there too, like a treat box or something. So it'll be four cards and a treat box. We'll see. I'll give you guys all the details. It will, I will shoot out an email for you guys to sign up. And then also on the, the blog post on Friday. So you'll get the video and then you can get all the information if you want to sign up for that too. I know Griffey is getting so big. He's going to be turning two on December 5th. And then Jesse's birthday is December 1st. Richard's birthday is the 16th. We, I think, I think we're going to um, the Hard Rock Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Ohio on, for his birthday. I think we're going down there just for the weekend. I don't know 100% yet, but um, yeah, we got to see how his work schedule is going. So, Oh, yeah, I haven't done the glitter spinner. Good thing. Thank you for reminding me, Sue. All right, I'm not going to take this off because I'm, gonna, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose you again. All right, so let's spin it. And I, you guys know I'm going to be spinning the thing here. So let's spin it. All right, spinning, spinning, spinning. Hold on. Right here. Who is that? Pat! I swear, my comments, I can't even hardly even see the comments. Okay, Pat. Pat is a glitter queen. So I will get these sent out to you tomorrow, Pat. Yay! And you're getting, sorry, did I even show you guys what you're playing for? <laughs> sorry. The ombre matte decorative dots. These are awesome. Okay, so I'll get those sent out to you tomorrow. Yay, Pat. Woohoo! All right, so reminding, reminding you guys next Wednesday here in the glitter pit. I'm just writing down here what these are, so in case I lose it. Next week, we're going to do the last two cards in this series of five videos. And it's going to be, uh, what cards are we doing? We're going to do the turtle card and the how exciting or magnificent or um, fantastic news card. Um, and I don't know what number those are, but it's this last two cards. We're going to make those next week. And then I'm going to figure out something to give all ten cards away to somebody next week. All right? So excited. All right. Let's see what everybody else is saying here. And then I'll let you guys go. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Yay. I know, Jennifer. You should have. <laughs> Don't be, don't be afraid. We won't bite. Everybody is so nice here. Plus, we got two amazing moderators. We have Irene and Teresa. Everybody do a shout out for them, ladies. They are moderating every week for us. They keep the, you know, the not so nice people out. They kick them out. They have a lot of control over in my moderation tools. They can put people in the corner. They can block them. They can kick them out. They have the free reign to do whatever. They know that I don't like it, right? So we want to thank them for doing this for us every week. And then if one goes somewhere or whatever, there's always at least somebody here to moderate, okay? All right, so next week is going to be the last week. And then we're going to start just making some Christmas cards and having fun. And then um, don't forget my product-based class, and then my Friday's video, all right? So I'll see you guys next week. Same glitter time, same glitter station. I love you guys. Bye.